finally arrived at DMG Mori Coventry. Now their technology days, we've done a lot of promotion for it. It's very busy already, but what are we going to see on show? Uh, there's a few things we're going to look at, hardware, but we're going to start with software. Mark's right, it's just after 10 o'clock in the morning here, and they've already got uh, a lot or, or a few crowds looking at machines and also software, as you can see here. This net service is all about dialing in. So an engineer, if he's got a machine, uh, he can use this net service and DMG Mori can actually dial into his machine and they can potentially analyse any issues that they've got. Uh, the beauty of this software is the fact that they reckon it's going to uh, save as much as 30% in terms of call-outs. They can resolve 30% of issues actually directly online using this and this is all part of their industry for. AMB Stuttgart was massive for their digitalisation because they, they taught us that they, from the first part they actually make for the machine to the end part of their customers, customer's product that's what these machines and digitalization Getting means. the best efficiency out of your machine, that's what it's yep. all about. Uh, this is the RPS, onto the hardware. This is the RPS, this is a pallet uh, cell or a, a pallet pool here, uh, connected to an NHX 4000 horizontal machining center. Now You've I've seen, seen these. Yeah, I've seen these. these. These are fantastic working in the field, but yet again, AMB still got, was a, a great opportunity to launch them, but now in the UK, fantastic product. And I think we should look at this. We should take a look at this. There is somewhere, uh, and it's not evident at the moment, but this cube is actually 400, you can get a 400 kilogram uh, component on one of these pallets. And so I think can we get Joe in there then? Possibly, possibly. 700 high by 400, uh, the pallet is actually 400 by 400. This is a horizontal machining centre, 60 metres a minute, 20,000 RPM spindle. It's a production machine. It's very quick. Uh, I asked the guys about the automation and said, well, what happens if you come in in the morning and it's stopped because the tool broke? And the, Well, it will, actually, it will actually take the job off the machine, put it in a holding bay, and it will then load the next pallet where it doesn't need that tool. So it will keep and, running. And also, there is a different... Uh, levels of pallets as well there is that's just, just 21 tw that's yeah. just the 21 big seller for them. when you buy a precision machine or a high speed machine or a machine making complicated parts you need quality tooling and that's what we've got here in uh, tooling from solutions Hamer. from Hamer here you've obviously got tool presetting we've got balancing machines we've got shrink fit technology so if you if you're buying a quality machine tool why put cheap tooling in it um, you can obviously see quality now, tooling here now a DMU 75 monoblock for those engineers what love don't know what a monoblock is love what this is machine it? one piece casting on? machine five axis table that's fully supported uh, it's a very dynamic five axis uh, the accessibility on these machines is great and they do they are as they say five axis champions very rigid. They have stamped uh, absolutely uh, very very rigid uh, DMU 60 is the other uh, five axis here even faster this machine this is a linear drive motor machine the great thing about the technology that they're showing here is also uh, a self calibrating tool that they have on these machines which will fit to the machine so you don't need to call out an engineer if you did have a, a bump you can calibrate the machines just yourself to make sure you're very meeting popular machine in the UK the 60 very very popular turning what about turning this is a CLX when I first looked at this I thought it was a single spindle machine it's amazing in a small footprint it's actually twin spindle uh, this is uh, just shows you what DMG Mori are offering entry on the level as well side. Yeah, an entry level machine, the CLX range, uh, and that's the, the twin spindle. And here then we've got the single spindle version. Now what's clever about this, Mark, is we're, sh we're seeing here the IoT connector box. And this is where uh, we looked at the net service and that applies to this machine. So that camera that we're looking at now. It's all part of uh, their digitalization process. You can process, actually use that camera in the machine. You can look at uh, what's happening in the machine. You can show the engineers the other end because they would be the other end of the connection here to the net service. They can dial in and they can see what's happening in the control. They can even um, they can even do everything, take control of the machine. They can't move the axes for obvious reasons, but they can take control and of the machine. all that data is actually going back to the cloud effectively. It's all about sharing data, isn't it? It is, and now let, let's look at this um, highlight. Now, this, this, this is, uh, seems to be the, uh, the busiest machine in the hall. Well, this, this here is the robo-to-go um, solution. So this is a robot here that's loading this CTX machine. Now, you can fit this to any of the turning centers. If you purchased a new machine, you'd be able to fit this to it. The great thing about this is the unmanned run again. It's the automation. But this machine is a twin spindle machine. The head on this machine is, is, is tiny, but still fast and powerful. And it's actually doing gear skiving, and it can gear skive to a DIN 7 tolerance. Now, gear skiving is a big thing in the marketplace. Why has it suddenly become really big? Because I just think it's a way of doing everything in one on a machine. It's make it, Machines are becoming more universal, and we're going to show you here a component uh, if we can actually get to it this is actually a, a, a part I'm just gonna pick it up actually uh, just to, just to show you how big it is skived on a DMG Mori machine now that actually uh, was four roughing cuts and one finishing cut but how long 
did this part take to uh, to gear skive put your comments on youtube in the box below